Yo, what's up everybody? It's your boy Floss, back again with another video. And today we're gonna do a quick unboxing of the OnePlus 6T McLaren Edition. Now this will be available starting December 13th from OnePlus.com. I'll throw the link up in the description. The price on this one, 700 bucks. Now as far as the specs, they're identical to the OnePlus 6T except for two major upgrades. Number one, now instead of six or eight gigs of RAM, you're getting 10 gigs of RAM. I repeat, 10 gigs of RAM. So if you're heavy into multitasking, this is the phone for you. Now I know what some of y'all are gonna say, 10 gigs of RAM, that's RAM overkill. Listen, y'all know my motto, I'd rather have it and not need it than need it and not have it. The second major upgrade is now you're getting Warp Charge 30. What does that mean? OnePlus claims you can plug your phone into the charger for 20 minutes and get a day's worth of power. That's ridiculous. That's not fast charge. That's not quick charge. That's not even dash charge. That's warp charge 30. Other than that, everything is the same. All right, so let's check this one out. Shout out to White Shoes back in the building. Salute to speed. OnePlus 6T McLaren edition. Now, right away, you can see the difference from the box. Look at the side. Carbon fiber trim on the box. And y'all know, uh, know our McLaren has that papaya orange color. You get the same thing with this. Now this is 10 gigs of RAM with 256 gigs worth of storage. The color name, Speed Orange, 700 bucks. Let's grab a little unboxing knife. Got the orange one on deck. Rah. We're doing this nice and slow today. We gotta enjoy this one. Look at the carbon fiber. All right, hold up. Check this out. Salute to Speed. And y'all know, carbon fiber, race car life here we go okay mclaren one plus beautiful carbon fiber box i'm definitely keeping this one here we go now once you open up the box on the inside fast and smooth salute to speed Whew, check this out now one plus mclaren okay dedicated <laughs> dedicated to those in the constant pursuit of speed that would be me okay relentless Okay, 1968, this is the Grand Prix. Okay, this is a nice little book right here. We'll read this later. Matter of fact, we'll, I'll just turn the pages so y'all can see our fearless challengers. From vision to reality. Taking on the world. These are all the McLaren race cars. At the end of this video, I'll tell y'all a funny McLaren story also. Okay, so basically this is just a book. Let's see what, uh, see what this is. Inspired by the F1, 10 gigs of RAM, warp charge 30, screen unlocked, so you still got your in-screen fingerprint sensor, fast, stable, efficient, community built. Okay, that's nice. We'll place that gently to the side. Now, here we go. Now, this one comes with the carbon fiber case. Woo! Let me do the smell test on this. Woo! Smells like race car. Got your McLaren branded on the bottom. One plus insignia, carbon fiber on the inside, real nice. Let's see what this is. Okay, empty box, trolling status. Okay, you got one of your McLaren Formula One race car drivers. Pause this and read it for yourself if you want. Let's see, now here's your charger. Now I'm wondering if this is 50 or 30 watts. Let's check. Let me check this real quick. All right, so this is five volts, six amps. Now, it took me a minute to see this because I don't got my glasses on, so I had to take a picture of it and zoom in. Five volts, six amps. This is gonna be your charging cable, papaya orange, braided cable with the cable management clips. Ooh, this is nice. Y'all look closely, you see it's braided. I like that. Now, of course, there's no headphone jack, so let's take a look at the dongle. Orange and black, McLaren theme colors. Let's see what this is. Here we go. Salute to speed. McLaren MCL 33 edition, carbon fiber 2018, handcrafted in England. Look at the carbon fiber on the McLaren logo. This is so sick. Now keep in mind y'all, 700 bucks. Let's see what this is. This presentation is everything. Here's your SIM ejection tool. Got your usual books and shit. Let's see what this is. 
The harder I push, the more I find within myself. Real nice. Okay, so no one plus troll stickers on this one. It is what it is. All right, so that's it for the box. Now we gotta take it back to the book. Look at this carbon fiber. All right, so let's go to back to the last page of the book. And here's your device. Let's take this one out. Mm! The back of this is carbon fiber. Whew. Look at this. Hold up, now let me get this last stick out of here. Rah. Let's get one wipe down. Y'all need to see this. Look at this. Now if you notice, you can see the orange trim going around the side of the phone. This is incredible. One plus logo on the back, McLaren at the bottom, carbon fiber. On the bottom, there's your speaker grills, USB type C. Rah. Your little teardrop on the front, let's see if we got any power. There it is. There's your volume up and down. Vibrate switch, power button. I gotta wipe this down one more time. Y'all need to see this. Look at this. Let the light reflect at every angle. You see that orange trim on the bottom? I'm almost at a loss for words. All right, let me pause the video. I'll drop my information in. Then we'll breeze through the OS. Talk amongst yourselves. All right, y'all, so we back in. Now, I just put my information in the phone. I've been playing around with it for a few minutes, and I'm gonna say the same thing that I said about the last OnePlus 6T, pound for pound. If you're looking for a stock Android experience with a ridiculous amount of RAM, a ridiculous amount of storage, an amazing build quality, and some innovative new features, this is the phone for you. As Bob Barker would say, the price is right. Now, I'm not gonna waste your time going through the whole settings and all of that, because we already did that twice. I'm just gonna talk about the basic stuff and show you some things that I like. First things first, the build quality. The build quality on this phone is amazing. Now, I don't know if this camera's doing it justice or not, but can y'all see that orange stripe going around the side? That just looks so beautiful. Carbon fiber on the back. This might be the best looking phone of the year. And y'all know I gotta say it. Feels so good in the hands. Ladies, you know the procedures. Now it does come with this dope carbon fiber case, but you might not even wanna rock it. Once you feel this in your hand, this is what it looks like though. You do got some razivity on the case. Nice carbon fiber trim. But I'm rocking this with no case. Let me get one more wipe down. It is a fingerprint magnet. <clears throat> Look at this. Y'all see that orange stripe? Insane. Now, three ways to open up the device. You got the fastest face unlock in the game. Y'all see that? It didn't even go to the lock screen. This is the fastest face unlock in the game. Next, you got your on-screen fingerprint sensor. Now, I will say this. Right now, I got four phones that have on-screen fingerprint sensors. I got the Mate 20 Pro, the Mate RS, the Vivo Next S, and the OnePlus 6T. Now, this is still new technology, but out of all those four phones, this one has the best on-screen fingerprint sensor yet. Works every time. And of course, you can just swipe up and put in your padding. But that face unlock, you're not gonna need either one of those. The display, Beautiful. You can get rid of that teardrop if you want. I showed you that in the last video. Let's just check out some of the basics. Let's take it over to YouTube, look at the display, and listen to the speaker. Max volume, stretch it out. Beautiful. Listen to this. This is dope. Now let's exit out of this. 10 gigs of RAM. So basically all your multitasking, no lag, do whatever you want. Let's take it over to a website. Let's, uh, let's try that again. Oneplus.com. So while we're watching YouTube, let's go breeze over to Oneplus. Of course that's <laughs> one.com. Epic fail, let's try that again. Oneplus.com. 
Right now, y'all see how fast this is? Here's my YouTube video. Full browsing. Everything running in the background. Let me close this out. This is a major, major, major go. The best thing about this phone so far, the build quality just blew me away. Now, let me let me, let me me show y'all something real quick. Check this out. Now, try to look closely. Y'all see that carbon fiber? Straight race car status. Now, I want to show you the camera real quick. Let me show you some pictures that I just took. This is the front-facing camera. All right, me and Shoes chilling. Me trying to look hardcore while holding the cat, looking like a villain. All right, there it is. White shoes. Front-facing camera, pretty good. Now, here's the main camera. This is dope. All right, definitely not the best camera in the game. But it is dope. You can see for yourself. Look closely. Look at them whiskers. Excellent camera. Does have night mode. The night, the night photos on this, insane. I would say the third best night camera out right now behind the Google and behind the Mate. Night mode on this is a go. But you're buying this for that exclusivity-ness. All right, there's only a few phones like this. You got the Lamborghini, Oppo. You got the uh, Porsche, Mate. And now you got the McLaren OnePlus 6T. That orange on the bottom, mm, I love this. Anyway, I'll do a follow-up video. I'll let y'all know how that Warp Charge 30 works. I'll test out a few other things, but as of right now, like I said, for 700 bucks, the price is right. This is a triple major go. Hit me up in the comments. Let me know what y'all think about this one. Shout out to everybody rocking with me on Facebook, Foursquare, Twitter, Google+. Shout out to all the Google gangsters. I see y'all holding down that Facebook page. Shout out to everybody hitting me up on Voxer. And a special shout out to everybody rocking with me on Instagram. Y'all know that's where I'm at full time. 100% full throttle. And a special shout out to everybody rocking with the new stream on Sundays. Y'all already know. Stream gangsters on deck. Get your drinks ready. No meat boys allowed. Oh yeah. Special shout out to everybody following me on Snapchat. Flossy underscore Carter. That's where I'm at. And a special shout out to the notification squad. I see y'all in the comment section early. Hashtag salute. Oh yeah, one more thing. I almost forgot. Fellas, ladies, say it with me. All y'all haters, all y'all trolls, close your eyes and picture me rolling. It's your boy Floss, I'm out. Deuces. Scotty, I need warp speed. Engage. All right, so I had to beam back down. I forgot I promised to tell y'all the McLaren story. So this is a couple of summers ago. I went to a car show with a couple of my boys. After the show was over, I'm driving home. It's about midnight. I'm on the highway. The highway's pretty much empty. I'm doing about 80 miles an hour in the left lane. I'm driving an E60 M5, fully loaded, fully hooked up, racing status. Now, like I said, I'm doing about 80. I'm in fourth gear. I'm making mad noise, being a douche. Just droning down the highway. I look at my rear view mirror, I see some lights, super bright. So that's how I know it's something new and the car was pretty low and it's closing in fast. Now I wasn't in the mood to race, but I did want to see, you know, what kind of car it was. So I dipped over to the middle lane to let the guy pass. I wanted to see what it was. The guy didn't pass, the guy just pulls up right on my bumper. So now I'm doing 80, he's right behind me. So I said, okay, let me just go a little bit faster. So I, I, I push it up to about 100. He's still right behind me. So there are two things. I said, okay, maybe he wants to race or number two, maybe he's using me as a sacrificial lamb for the cops. Maybe, you know, maybe I fly by the cops doing a buck. He's right behind me. Who you think gonna get the ticket? Me. 
So, but after a while, he's right behind me. Those lights are super bright. I start getting a little bit annoyed. I hit the M button, downshift to third gear, make a little bit of noise, shift back up to fourth. Now I'm out. I'm doing a buck 20. This guy's right behind me, right on my bumper, not trying to pass me, just right on my bumper. So I'm like, right, I'm like, right, whatever car he's driving is super fast. Then I slow down a little bit. He pulls to the side of me. I look over. This guy is driving a McLaren P1 Papaya Orange, but the dude looks like he was maybe about 95 years old. Two hands on the steering wheel like this with the Mr. Magoo glasses, the old school uh, John Gotti hats. Y'all know them hats? Old school dude. Looking mad old. He, so he looks at me. We look at each other. I give him the thumbs up. I'm about to roll the window down and say, yo, you looking good. Before I could even say something, all I heard was, Rawr! that's this sound. The dude was out. Now I'm trying to catch up. <laughs> I'm trying to catch up. I got to keep it real. I got smoked. And I got smoked. So that's one time I had to hold the L. In this race game, you can't always win. I took an L to a McLaren P1, but I got a new whip. So anybody driving McLarens, I'm looking for y'all. Anyway, let me get back out of here. Spock wanted to beam up. Enterprise out. Energize.